Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm still getting the hang of my, my new Dream Deck buttons, but uh, yeah, your first map. Nice. <laughs> what are you up to today? You're gonna play some Destiny, you're just chilling out. Literally looking at your Twitch follows before I started streaming. <laughs> like the people that follow you or uh, or who you follow as in like who you were looking to watch. I guess follows is self-explanatory because follow wings would be the people that follow you. I'm gonna see if the raid you're gonna run for your dance today? That's that's something that you're doing in Destiny. Getting rid of follows that are inactive. Ah, okay. I have a lot of those because there for a while I was doing like follow back or like other streamers and then like a bunch of people that I followed back they uh they stopped streaming so it didn't matter all right today I'm gonna paint these little flowers little tiny flowers forget half the people you follow so you remove some Fair enough. I'm gonna need... Definitely some warm gray, turquoise, a little teeny bit of black. Am I ready for this? No. These flowers are tiny. They have a lot of detail. I'm gonna go right in. Okay? Alright. Don't procrastinate. Just do it. That's up. Where do you Little silent princess. All my blue is pretty handy there. I don't think I need to keep it for now. Just to make sure that I get some distance from the sun. I'm excited to see how Sanzo's stream is gonna go today. He's doing like a his own version of like a craft stream. So it, it might, you know, be kind of short for that portion and then he'll probably switch over to games or something. He's having fun, but he told you about it already? Nice. Although he did say he was really tired, so it might just be just a short quick stream. Kind of one and done when he's done with his little electronic crafting. You know, you talking about Destiny on here with me has like made me want to uh, download it more and more. Although I'm I'm a little bit nervous about like learning it on stream. Like I think it would be like entertaining for some people like you, but at the same time like frustrating. I'm not gonna know what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> it's free, but there's big to do unfortunately what do you mean what do you mean there's nothing to do if it's like brand new to somebody right like is it just one of those games it's hard to like get started with because like 
you're kind of like locked up until you develop a character. Kindergartens. <laughs> oh, the DLC. So there's nothing really to it unless you actually pay for the, the deal. Okay. Now I understand. And the season's pretty dead right now. Okay. I mean, maybe it'd be kind of good that it's like kind of boring for me at first. That way I can like actually learn the like ways to do things. <laughs> like it's just the very like minimum, like how not to die. I didn't even set all my paintbrushes back up in the little folder. And a very disorganized artist. Today. I've been trying to be an appliance repair person I like took apart half my washing machine today because it's been messing up and not running I was like chatting with online experts how do I fix this and literally the the part that I might have to like replace if uh my last step in troubleshooting doesn't work is the the only panel I didn't open I haven't played in like a month. Hmm. Oh wait, the last week of the season picks up next week apparently. Okay, so like, you know, I could get some painting in and I could maybe be get into it whenever more entertaining, Unanis unanimously more entertaining. You know, maybe maybe by then I'll be ready for painting break and do some games. Even though it's not that technically on theme with what I'm doing lately. Everything seems to be all about Legend of Zelda on my channel. Although maybe maybe I should go a little bit off theme. That way I don't become like a Legend of Zelda channel. That kind of puts me in a box. Start to get all like professional on here. I uh, I made a little like Google Doc for commissions and stuff. I feel so fancy now. Okay, what happened to the music? camera mount everything shaped I got so spoiled to having it not shake before unless I jump to the part I'm pretty good I don't know if I want to like try Destiny just so I have more to like talk to you about here or if like you're just making me interested in it. I'm not sure. Like maybe I just want to know more. I don't know. I'm not I'm not sure what my reasons are, but I'm definitely more interested in it having known that you're interested in it or that you play it. It's fine regardless if too many things to talk about. I'm 
don't know. You feel you seem like pretty like um pretty reserved in my chat at least. Maybe not in Sanzo's. Or it might just be that I have other chatters that kind of take over. <laughs> No, I definitely have some strong personalities that stop by. You used to be no, you're you're pretty quiet all around lately. Used to be more outgoing. High school took that out of you? Oh, I bet. Getting called radio for how loud you could get sometimes wasn't exactly the most reassuring thing. Oh man, I feel you though. Like, okay, Dylan gets after me all the time because if I get excited about something, I can't control my volume. And like, before I know it, I'm like almost yelling at him. And like, he's just like trying to ask me to like not hurt his ears. But like, I get like so hurt sometimes that like, it's, it's nothing to do with him. It's all like inside of me or whatever. But like, I I feel you. I feel you for sure. I used to blame it on like, oh, I used to like live with nothing but old people and stuff. And like, you know, I had to like just get used to talking really loud because they couldn't hear me if I didn't. And then like years went by of me not living with my family and I was still loud as hell. So <laughs> I guess that wasn't it after all, you know. I mean, at least here, I'm not gonna be like, yo, shut up. <laughs> Let me get that around here. name like those guys suck like they wanted to like try and like say something to somebody like negative like that and their creativity was so lacking that they came up with radio like come on if you're gonna put forth the effort to try and say something to somebody you could at least give them the dignity of being creative with it and fuck this
Oh yeah. I mean, I'm sure. Getting shit on never feels good. That's for sure. Even if the people doing it are very bland and I believe it was because of a movie we had watched. Oh, that football movie called Radio? Oh, those people are really shitty then. Because not only are they making fun of somebody as nice as you, but then they're also making fun of like mentally challenged people. Like, that's just the lowest of the low. It is a good movie. It's definitely like a message that should be uh, spoken with that movie, but so many people turned it into a way of putting people down and it ruins it, even if it is a good movie. I mean, like, for me, like, if, if being quiet and reserved is how somebody is comfortable, then, like, by all means. But also, like, show me, show me you, you know? Like, come and hang out and just be 100% yourself. Because, like, that makes me happy, you know? Like, when I started hearing people, like, using, like, the, the notion or the term, like, being unapologetically yourself, I was like, damn, that's, that's, like, a good thing. Like, why, why do not, why do more people not, like, advocate that, you know? Unapologetically. Dylan likes to say that I'm like one of those people that was like, oh, you love me now? Now you get to find out just how weird I am. And I just like unleashed a, a tidal wave of weird after a certain point, after I felt like secure that he wasn't going anywhere. to get like 10 more of these little tiny red
thought about starting a new new um card or, or painting in this series since i already have two of them like ready to go but i thought it was like a good time to circle back to this one like i got the second one like pretty good and like like at a good like page Plus, while I was busy being an appliance technician, I, uh, I probably should have been doing the prep work for the, the next one. Like, taping off the border, like I did for the second one. But, I did not do that because I was busy trying to repair a washing machine, apparently. Which... I found like a really interesting or like effective like resource for appliance repair um like if calling an actual like technician is not an option there's this website called just ask where you can like text chat with technicians and they can like tell you stuff And like, I mean, yeah, you have to pay a little bit. You only pay like $5, but like in exchange for $5, you at least don't have to worry about paying for a bunch of parts and spending more money to fix your appliance by just like getting to ask the, the right questions. Like I'd rather be out $5 than a, you know, 90 bucks for a replacement part that doesn't work or doesn't fix the problem like didn't need to be replaced Enzo better wake up soon from his little happy nap if he wants to be on time for his stream. Decided to remove some followers from your channel, people you don't want to talk to or associate with. So that was fun. Oh, I mean, you gotta you gotta protect your uh, your boundaries, you know. Seventy nine followers, big rip. Damn. not like you stream anymore i mean it's not like you're never gonna stream again though right there's always the possibility right don't think you could ever get into the groove of streaming anyways i mean so my like journey through twitch 
tried too many times, to be honest. So, okay, like my my journey through Twitch hasn't exactly been like the best. Like when Dylan first got into it, like the first year or whatever, I was kind of bitchy about it. Like I didn't understand. And like all I saw was a lot of money being invested in it and like not getting to spend as much time with them. Love the idea of it. Just don't have the motivation for it. I mean, there are definitely days that I I don't want to. Like, I'm like, I don't want to talk to people today. I don't want to, I don't want to do any of this stuff. I don't want to have to like, be like camera presentable, like just stuff like that. But at the same time, I'm like, like I, I let my art motivate me, I guess. I guess that's my way of getting through those like less motivated days. Like I'm I'm never gonna be like a working artist if I don't like do something to get my art out there. And for me, like Twitch is one of the things that makes it like really easy to just sit here and paint. And if people come by to hang out, then it's more people seeing my art than if I didn't stream. But like so I wasn't like in Dylan's like community with you guys early on. And then like the like last I like the last like year that he was doing it. He uh I like got more into it and started warming up to the idea of me streaming. And then I did stream for a little bit and then um, I started working full time with my job that I no longer have. And I was like too tired to stream. The early community was interesting. Yeah, I feel like I like missed out on a lot, but like I can't I can't go back and change it. You know, like I regret that. I regret like not being more understanding about it before. Miss the TNT Studios era of the community. TNT Studios? What is that? I need you to elaborate. Still wonder what happened to those two. Okay, so TNT was a person? That's <laughs> a story? <laughs> okay, tell it to me. I like stories. Tell me a story, man. Tell me, tell me the legends of the early Santo Kid channel. Because Dylan probably can't even remember half of it to even tell me. He he doesn't remember stuff or shit sometimes. It was two streamers who had different channels. Okay, so this wasn't like somebody in Dylan's channel. This was just like Twitch in general. But not the story. Okay, all right. So are you going to tell me the story? It started out tiny. Okay, so it was, it was Twitch as a whole. Okay, okay. I like to establish like what perspective we're looking at it from. So thank you. <laughs> Even now as a streamer, I'm pretty shitty at like paying attention to what's like going on like with Twitch as a whole. Like I see like the big names pop up on the front page and stuff, but like I haven't been involved 
enough or for long enough to really like know anything about them. And a lot of the big names, they're they're doing stuff I'm not even interested 